I'm Andy O'Brien. I'm a partner and portfolio manager in Lord Abbott's Taxable Fixed Income Group, where I focus on investment-grade corporate bonds. The normal dynamic uh, coming out of a recession is that there's an excess supply of labor, a lot of people who haven't been working who are looking to get back in the workforce. Uh, what we saw in the pandemic is a lot of people have, have left the workforce and, and don't want to come back or maybe coming back very reluctantly. And so navigating those challenges, making sure you can get workers who are um, feel like they're being compensated ad adequately and treated well uh, is going to be important uh, to, to making sure that, that companies have the, the labor they need uh, to operate their business. Anytime you go from, from low economic activity to high economic activity, you're, you're going to run into bottlenecks. Uh, there just isn't the capacity to run at, at peak uh, across the economy um, uh, all the time. And so the surge of demand will, will settle back into a more normal pattern. Um, one of the things that we're seeing people talk about too is, is more onshoring of supply. So supply chains had gotten super efficient, you know, people sourcing uh, goods from, from all the way around the world because they could do it a little bit more cheaply. Um, as those supply lines got disrupted, I think people have realized, okay, maybe I need some more robustness. Maybe maximizing efficiency isn't really my goal. Maybe I should have a more sturdy supply chain, which means having more inventory, sourcing things closer to, to where I'm operating, even if it means a, a little bit more expense. And so that comes at a cost, and so you, you're probably going to lose something in, in terms of efficiency, but you'll end up with a, a more robust supply chain going forward, more expensive but more robust. And um, seeing how people manage that uh, will be part of the, uh, um, the focus for investing in, in 22. I think one of the key differentiators in 2022 will be quality of management. You might have companies uh, in the same industry. Uh, one company that's managed well will be able to deal with rising labor costs, uh, rising input costs, uh, be able to manage relationships with customers on the other side to be able to pass along those costs, whereas a, a less skilled, a less high quality management won't be able to, to address all those things and just going to end up suffering uh, compressed margins. So less about being in the right industry, but maybe being more selective about which management teams you're comfortable with and who will be able to, to navigate this challenging environment.